David Runnels. I'm a senior fellow at Sustainable Prosperity and I'm a visiting professor at the Institute for the Environment here at the University of Ottawa. I spent literally, I hate to say this, 40 years working in this area, working basically for civil society organizations and think tanks. Uh, IE, I think, is an interesting experiment, as is the MSC, because we're going to be producing people who are literate in both the science and the policy end. And the MSC program gives us a chance to begin to bring those two sides together. There's a lot of collaboration with the biology department and the science departments here, as well as the economists and the political scientists and so on. And that, I think, makes it a unique program in Canada. Science and public policy is where the action is going to be. We've been able to, um, to produce a really rich program. I mean, this isn't just people taking a bunch of courses. We've been able to run a really interesting and even exciting seminar series specifically for the students, which is completely outside their, their curriculum requirements and everything else. It's just bringing interesting people around to talk through some of these issues. The faculty are pretty available. I mean, you know, there are only 30 some odd students, or about 25 at the moment, I guess. So the faculty are available to talk to people. The students all kind of live in the building here. We've got people milling around all the time. So we all get to know each other, and that gives it, I think, a more collegial approach than I've seen from other sort of programs like this. But they were all having these real problems linking science and policy. And when they were faced with a possible influx of people who actually understood those relationships, they understood intuitively that that's what they actually needed. And these were from federal government departments, they were from trade associations like the Electricity Association of Petroleum Producers, there were some NGOs in the crowd, Sierra Club, etc., all of whom kept saying, we really need people who can bridge that gap. And there are very few of them around, and if you can produce them, we can find jobs for them.